While you cringed at the idea of the FBI using a dead person's fingerprint to unlock an iPhone, you may have missed the voice-controlled typewriter, the amazing robotic hand, and the space telescope that's gonna outclass Hubble. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where Hubble was able to analyze the atmosphere of an exoplanet for the first time, but it seems way too hot to support life. Probably. The James Webb isn't the only space telescope NASA's working on to take over when the Hubble retires. The space agency just started developing the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope as well. The orbiting observatory will capture images at the same clarity as the Hubble, but cover a hundred times the area once it launches in the mid-2020s. With it, NASA hopes to search for dark energy, dark matter, and interesting exoplanets like the latest Super-Earth. It will also monitor distant supernovas to map how fast the universe is expanding. The days of pirate hook hand prosthetics are over. I'm a monster! Thanks to a team of researchers from the University of Washington. They've developed a robotic hand that looks, and more importantly, works just like the real thing. The team started by scanning a skeletal human hand and 3D printing a copy. Then they set about grafting on artificial ligaments and tendons made from super strong spectra strings, along with 10 servos that act as muscles. By modeling the prosthetic on the real thing, the UW team's hand can do almost anything a biological one can do without the need for complicated programming. Groovy. The robots are still coming for our jobs, but this time, not even the secretaries are safe. YouTube user ZipZaps made a mechanical contraption that takes dictation and taps out your words using an old-timey typewriter. The user speaks into a microphone, and the system's onboard speech recognition software interprets it all, and then crawly robot fingers type it out. Uh, the typing mechanism. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because. Sports Illustrated is releasing its swimsuit issue in VR. Asus and Dell have begun offering Oculus Rift and tower sets for pre-order at $1,500. Researchers have created a five-dimensional storage medium that will keep data safe for about 13 billion years. Vimeo added Chromecast support to its app, and the FBI could use dead suspects' fingerprints to open iPhones. Suddenly, Android's unlocking patterns seem a lot more appealing. This episode was brought to you by Go90.